Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you because I'm going to be using this stamp set today and it is Tot's Townhouse. Um, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And what I'm doing is I've taken the paper pack, so I've taken the Total Tot's paper pack and I've stamped an image of the house on all of the um, the sheets, except for this one. So I thought I'd do this one online with you. So let me just pop that out of the way. Um, so what I thought I would do today is um, we're going to make some little invitation cards so these could be for housewarming parties it could just be for a party in general it, this could be for when lockdown is all finished it could be for anything when social distancing isn't an issue anymore um, so I'm just using my archival ink in jet black for this um, so I'm not using any pens or anything so in theory with this um, collection I should well with these stamped images I should be able to make four cards um, using them because what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, cut these in to um, bits so we're going to take each cut each segment out so that um, we can sort of build it up together to make a really funky image and we're going to do that four times um, but what I'll probably do is when it comes to um, actually putting the uh, cutting them up um, I'll probably uh, do that on speed up and we'll do it all together um, so yeah, right, my archival ink is running out, I do need to re-ink it but I don't know what I've done with my re-ink it so I'm just, really I should have got my other ink out but I'm not sure where it is, if you saw the state of my room you'd understand, it is a mess. Okay so I've done all of them, now I've got some white card here that I, I used in my last video and what I'm going to do is we're going to stamp this image four times onto this card um, just a plain white card stuck and this is so that we've got somewhere where we can put our little patchwork uh, on so again I'm going to do this four times but what I'll do so that you don't have to see me do all of this is I will do this off camera and then when we come back we will start um so yeah just get that middle bit there we go so there's the first one and then what i'll probably keep doing is no so i do need to turn that around right put that in there so i'll do this one so yes, I thought we'll just do a little bit of a patchwork today. So I thought, well, if people are not very good at colouring in or they don't want to colour in, but they're like fussy cutting, I love fussy cutting, as most of you know, um, then I thought this would be a really, really good um, thing to do. Um, and it's probably a really good thing to do with your kids as well. They would love doing this. So it's like doing a little jigsaw puzzle. Um, but we'll turn it into invitations. I mean, it can either be invitations or it can be little notelets. It can be anything. Um, so I've done two. And then what we're going to have to do is change the where the stamp is. So let's move the stamp out of the way. Okay, there we go. yeah so I think um I just think it's such a lovely idea um it's not my idea um I have seen it done before I think the first person I saw do this was um the lovely Emma from My Imagination uh, UK um she did this with one of Julia's digi stamps sets it was absolutely gorgeous and when I was working with these, I've made like little invitations just using the house of these and I love them. And I thought, do you know what, what would be fun is to do like a patchwork quilt using the gorgeous papers um, that Julia has created. So that is what we're doing. Right. And then 
then one more so in there and then there's our four and then the last thing that we will need we will need some um a3 uh, not a3 some white card um a5 would be fine or if you've got card bases already and they will be fine too um and we just sort of go from there let me move that out of the way. there we go um so yeah um and then i will show you what to do i'm sure i said i was going to go off camera and do all of this as usual getting carried away with talking with you so um yeah so what i'm going to do with the images is let me send this one and then i'll quickly show you what i'm going to do with the images um put that to one side because we don't need that now there we go so there are our bases and that's what we're going to use to stick the um the bits and pieces on so i'm just going to pop that out the way a second and then what i'm going to do is bring in my scissors and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut these out but we're going to cut them out in bits and we're going to do the same bit so it's a bit like if you were going to do some um decoupage but I am cutting really close because so that um, we can get the bits and pieces. So, for instance, um, of the door, I'm going to cut the door out on all of them. We're going to... Lady! Show the water, hopefully that will stop. Um, so I'll cut the door out, I will cut the stem out, I'm going to cut the top bit out, we're going to cut these little bits out individually, I'm going to do the trees individually, I'm going to do the flowers as well and then just underneath there. So that's what I'm going to do. So what we'll do is I'll put it on speed up so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. I won't put it like, um, on too much speed up. Speed up. Um, so yeah i think that's what we'll do um because this is probably going to take me a while um but i'm quite happy with that so i'll probably just put my music on like i normally do um but yeah so it's, it's just as simple as that we're just cutting out all of the different areas so there's the door and then what we can do is we can actually pop the door on there stick it on and it's already colored in how cool is that so that's what we're going to do and what i'll do is um we i'll probably all have them up there and then yeah so yeah this bit will be on speed up so please do feel free to um fast forward through it if you if you're not interested and just come to where we patch it together um or if you are interested then please do watch so yeah i hope you enjoy
so right I've done all of that um, and I have to admit I had fun it took me about 15 minutes actually to cut them out so not as long as what I thought it was going to take me now just to make it easier so that you can see I'm just going to cut these down just like this there we go um, and I'll try and keep them in shot so uh, just making sure that, yeah so all four are now in shot so what we're going to do now is we're just going to build up the lid so I do have um, my glue I'm hoping it's not um, stuck because I've had it tipped upside down just because it's nearly ran out which I'm a little gutted about because um, I love this glue so but thankfully I do have another one just making sure no I think we need to let me just take this off because we just need to unblock it um, which is typical so I always take the lid off it and then unblock it I find that so much easier there we go right I'm not sure how long that's going to last um I know that in one of my drawers there is um, yeah there is my new one so there we go right so let me pop that just to the side just for making sure that it's all opened up which it looks like it is so it's all good or is it no oh dear oh dear so I need to get this out don't just hate <laughs> new glues come on so I'm assuming this bit should have been stuck on. Right, well you can use that bit of glue, so let's not waste any. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do is, we'll do the doors first. I'm just going to pop some glue on each door. And then, um, with my tweezers, we're just going to get each door. And we're just going to line it up and stick them on just like that um, and that's basically all we're going to do is we're just going to patch up it's like a little patchwork quilt a little jigsaw um, the whole of each one um, so yeah so again I'm just putting a small amount of glue on because we don't you don't need a lot and then we're just getting our elements and sticking them down where they need to go so that is the doors all on so there is the start the next bit I think I'm going to put on is the trunk so let me pop some glue and I'm making sure just to pop the glue around all of those edges um, oh, let's do the red trunk on this one so we really are just swapping up the colours um, and it really does make for an interesting piece um, so yeah okay let's glue on there I'm going to use the pink for this one um, yeah so there's that one and then I think I'll use the well we've got two tealy colours left so um, so like I say if how it does I mean I've done one of each sheet of paper um, so however many sheets of paper you do that's how many um, cards you'll get out so if you decide that you're going to do um, eight sheets so you're going to do two of each then you're going to get eight um, cards out of it so it's all about how many you would like so and then the last one I mean, doesn't these look, don't these look fab? These look so cool. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is let's do this underneath bit here. So, um, on both sides, I'm going to keep them the same colour. So I think I'm going to go with um, the pink on this one. So let's pop these in just like that and we'll pop this bit in oh this is why we need our tweezers because it can be quite fiddly 
there we go and I mean how amazing is that looking it's looking so cool okay so I'm going to go with the teal for this one um, yeah we'll go with the, the dark teal for this one so let's pop that on there like that and then we should have another bit somewhere there it is it is really small so um, yeah so I wouldn't suggest waiting for um, the next day to pop these together to as soon as you have cut them out because of the simple fact they are small and yeah right um, we're gonna go with this teal for this one so the lighter teal to go on this one so um, there's the other bit which actually has a bit of pink in and then we'll go for the red on this one so yeah so this is all I'm doing um, right oh try not to drop them because uh, that would be a bit of a disaster um, if you do find that you do lose any bits then just re-stamp it out um, and cut out the bit that you are missing so you can sort of finish them if you do lose any bits um, but yeah if you do it straight away the chances of losing them hopefully fingers crossed are slim right okay so um, let's do this one this one's going to be red so let's put plenty of glue on so I'm going to do the big big red bit on here making sure that's stuck down quite nicely now these bits I am actually going to come in and colour them I'm going to bring in my Nouveau drops because I want them to have a dimension so those bits um, that is what we're going to do with them now I'm trying to work out I think it's that colour that we haven't used on this one yet so let's pop this one on but these are papers are gorgeous and the quality of them is really really good as well love love playing with them okay um i'm gonna go with the pink for this one oh actually put that on there because we can use that bit of glue for that bit so there's that oh there we go and then we're not wasting just put some on the corners and then let's pop this blue one down like that right okay so this is how we're going um next bit let's pop some glue down on the outside bit so i'm going to go with this teal i think for this one so let's pop that in into place oh, I'm loving how this looks now we do have these tiny small bits as well um, where's my tweezers uh, these are not actually the best tweezers because they are coated in glue um, I do have better ones but yeah okay um, so I oh, love I'm loving it yeah, oh, I absolutely love it um, yeah oh try not to drop it do you know more fingers and thumbs today actually I don't think I'm doing too bad considering <laughs> right um and then this piece as well so there's so we're actually nearly finished um oh, loving it absolutely loving it right um this piece we're going to have the multicolored bit i'm going to have this one for this bit um so we're actually just going back to the dark color um for these bits um, but you can do it in whatever order you want i'm just going to put glue on all of them just so that we can just Mix it just that little bit quicker. Um, I have thought though what I should have done because I wanted to bring in some colour onto the background. So before you do this I would highly suggest that if you want a background colour, you want to bring in a distressing, do it before you stick all the bits down, which I haven't. 
Uh, never mind. Right, okay. So there's that one. Right, we're going to go with red on this one. Again, I'm just going to pop glue wherever I need it. So all the way around. Oh, love, 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 love. Okay, and then we want these little bits. So let's start off with the smallest. And just hope we get them in the right spots. I think we are. Yeah. Last bit for this one. And then the last one, we're going to bring in that pink. But, oh, and they look so cool. They're looking so bright and colourful and yeah, all happy and smiley and cheery. Right. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Let's grab the pink and let's pop that on like that. Um, now we need these little bits. So again, just you could use my tweezers just because it really does make life so much easier um, to put the smaller bits down. There we go. And let's do this bit as well. Okay. Right. So there's that. Now we have got the trees left we've got the little dots which i do have to cut them out of three of them um because when i cut them out and realize that they're probably so easy for me to lose and we don't want that um right i think i'm gonna go with for the flowers i think i'm gonna go with the teal so the same color as the door so on all of them yeah I like that idea because I just think bring some more of that teal in on this one. Oh, love, love. Okay, so I'm going to do that with all of them. So whatever colour the dot is, that's the colour of the flowers. And as you can see, it's so easy. I mean, my, um, well, I do love my fussy cutting, but by all means, my fussy cutting is not perfect on this um, at all. I've, I've tried to do as close as I can, but um, you can you can get away with um, slight mistakes. So, um, yeah, right. Oh, loving, absolutely loving how this has turned out. This has actually turned out so much better than I thought. I had an image in my mind of what I wanted it to look like and I never in a million years thought it would look as good as this. I love it. Okay, right. Um, so again, just putting glue on these and then we're down to the trees. So, oh, I think the colour trees can be the same colour as underneath. Okay. So that's them. So let's pop these, do these trees. So this is, we want the red trees for this one. Because that's what we're going with underneath. Yep. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love, love, love. Um, we want this one for here. There we go, and um, we want the teal, I love that teal colour. Um, pink's, dusky pink's my favourite colour, but I have to admit, teal is probably a close uh, contender. I do love teal. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm still, yeah, just, okay. I'm just going to pop this tree on there, like that. I was going to cut the trees down as well, but I thought no, let's keep let's keep it so it's not as complicated. And oh, I thought we'd lost one. I honestly thought we'd lost one of the little dots. Um, okay, so the dots, the dots, the dots. Let's we'll do. Okay, where's my little gem picker upper? Because that's what we're going to need. And let's put these dots on. So. Um, Right, I need it so that we can, there we go, 
oh look seeing even just doing those dots has made it worthwhile so there is our finished one how gorgeous does that look right so what i need to do um let's have a look so um i'm thinking we'll have this one of this color so we just need to cut these out which can be very fiddly i'm not going to lie so if you wanted to skip this step and actually just pop um just color those in then please do um but for the purpose of this video I'm going to actually cut them out for you just so you can see it and like I said they are it is fiddly so um oh. but I think it's worth it right we'll dot in there okay and then one last one and there's another one done oh. yeah making sure I've definitely got it the right way and I have okay right so there's that one okay how cool does that look right so there's another one um right my phone's just going off i'm just getting a message of a friend okay um right i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna do red ones for this one so again let's cu cut these out and then we can actually put the card together now i am going to come in with my uh distress inks I don't know if you can hear that. Sorry, I know I just stopped talking, but I thought something was wrong with my daughter then. It was just sort of this this scream saying, help, help. I, I think um, I think Lady's got her, because I have noticed that. Oh no, Lady hasn't got her. Lady and Quincy are actually in their bed. So I wonder why she's, oh, I give up with her child. <laughs> so I don't know if you heard that, but I thought it was quite funny. Okay, Ooh, I've got a gold gem sat on me. Right, last one. So this seems to be taking the longest, is cutting out these little circles. If I could trust myself, I would have had these cut out ready to put on, but I did not trust myself to not lose them. So there's another one. But how fun are these as invitations? I just think they're brilliant. And I mean, invitations are always nice and small and get basically straight to the point. But yeah, I love them. So um, I, I am going to use the sentiment on this, um, oh, what you call it? This stamp set, which I think goes perfectly, especially at the minute. And it says it's the little things in life. So um, yeah. I think it definitely, definitely, it's the little things in life that keep us going. So, yeah. So I thought that would be quite a nice sentiment. So we're gonna we're gonna stamp that out um, a few times, and because I'm gonna break up the word in, and have it sort of cascading down the card. So yeah. Um, right. That. there we go all done right next thing that we're going to do is I do need some cardstock and then what I'm going to do is so I'm going to fold it and let me get this so we want it so that the fold so about there so yep yeah, that will be fine I'm just going to cut down here so I'll measure that in a minute so my fold is uh, three and a quarter inches so the card base itself is three and a quarter inches um, and it's a full length and what we're going to do is we're actually going to stick that on here 
um, and what you want to do is where this bit is and this bit is you want to make sure that's where the join is so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to there we go cut that around there because then I know because we are going to fussy cut this out um, and then we're going to stick that on there so let me grab my glue and put plenty of glue on um, and what we are going to do is make sure that that is over so as you can see we are hanging off the edge so that you wipe that glue off um, so there we have it then the next thing that we're going to do so I am going to just um, get rid of that bit is we are going to fussy cut it but what we're going to do is we're going to keep the card closed itself now I want to keep this bit straight because that's where it is going to stand up um, actually that's about right but um, just a little bit more um, look oh, it's there um, so what I'm going to do is we are going I'm going to leave the bottom because I'll use I'll use the guillotine for that and then what I'm going to do is we're just going to and you want a really good pair of scissors for this and um, some nice sharp scissors um, I'm using my Tim Holtz ones and then what we're going to do is we are going to cut around it now I am going to try and leave a border a white border um, hopefully and as you can see we're just going around now what I'm going to do as well is we're going to bring in um, one of my distressings I'm going to bring in a blue I think just a really pale blue and we're going to go around the edges with that and then bring in a green for the grass so yeah try I'm concentrating because I don't want this to go wrong and then we're just going around everything so I know because I'm only cutting through one sheet at the minute I know that this is definitely going to work oh. so. right. there we go and there is our little invitation how cool is that so that is what we um, have done now um let me grab right we're going to use tumbled glass and for the grass i'm going to actually use the bundled sage so because that is actually already straight so we don't need it and then i'm just going to grab my um blending brush so the first thing i'm going to do is we're just going to come in around this and just give it a blue sky look and just bring it in there and it's just to take away the starkness of the white that's all I'm doing and um, like I say if I just thought on I would have done this before I actually um, put the bits and pieces on but yeah I didn't I was too eager to go okay and then I'm gonna bring in the, the green the bundled sage and we're just gonna do along that edge of the bottom just like that so there you have it there's our first card our first little invitation how cute is that so put these off to the side because we will use the rest the use these on the others so yeah so that's what you want to do so um how big is this one uh so that works out at two and a half which is too small however Oh, you can fold it in half that way so you're just folding your paper um, as long as it's the same as that that's where you want to stick it so you want to stick your um, your card base or your card that you folded in half you want it so this bit is hanging over otherwise it won't work um, and the best way to do that is to actually cut around 
this bit so you know that you're definitely going to get one of the one of these edges i hope i'm making that perfectly clear so let's stick this down so what i'm going to do is um i'll probably yeah i think because i'm just doing the same thing i'm going to go off camera now um and i'm going to do the rest of these so there we go so i'm going to do exactly the same as what i've done to this and then once i've finished i'll be back okay so um i've done that so all of them are done um i really need to sort out my room honestly if you could see the state of it so i but i just you know when you get an idea in your head and you just really really want to go with it and you want to do it and yeah well that's what's happened so instead of tidying up like i was meant to be um i'm actually yeah designing instead but i don't mind <laughs> i will tidy up once i've done this okay so this is what we've got so these are our four invitations that we have created now the bits of card that i have left over what i'm going to do is i'm going to get hold of this stamp i do need a stamping block so let's pop it on there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it several times um, so that we can chop it up. And I'm not bothered on how it's sort of, um, yeah, if it's not straight or anything because we are just going to cut out the words. So I'm going to do it, um, like I said, a few times just in case we go wrong. Um, but yeah I love doing this and then I think the last thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in with my white pen and do a little bit of doodling um so yeah right let me pop right before I do anything else let's pop the stamp set the stamps away I was going to do flowers as well but um yeah I didn't okay <clears throat> um but I want to make sure that I put this away before um so I don't lose it because it's an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. So, right, okay. Um, but there it is. And I'm not sure what I've done with. There we go. Um, oh, it'll be about that. Needs to go. There it is. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Right. Honestly, if you so if you could see the mess around me, you would understand why I'm making sure I put this away because I really don't want this to get lost um, in like yeah, just in everything really. Um, right, okay, so that's popped away. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these up. Um, so I think we have enough, um, and I don't mind if they are not straight or anything because that is what I'm looking for um so yeah right so like I say I do want these to all be one words instead of bunched together so there we go there's one and then there we are so it's the oh right and then let's split this up it's the little things in life yes see i love that i just absolutely love it um yeah i might keep it actually in life yeah so I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to do that for all of them. Um, so again, let's chop these down. And I love the fact that the text is smaller um, because we can do this. Um, I think sometimes you can get stamps where um, the, the sentiments can be quite large and you can't really use them very well. In, um, or you've got to make a bigger card but I think this is perfect absolutely perfect right so um, oh, I've just caught up in life oh well never mind this one can all be separate oh if I can pick it up there is and then um, I think 
there's my phone again. Oh, do you know what? Every time I turn the camera on today, my phone keeps going off. I should really put it on silent, but I didn't. And this sounds like we have my daughter coming downstairs. Um, so she's probably... Well, I know she hasn't just woke up because we heard her earlier on. Um, hello. I'm recording, just so that you know. So, yeah. Um... So I don't know who she was talking to when she sort of, it sounded like you were shouting help and giggling. What were you giggling at? Myself. Oh, you're, you're okay, fair enough. She was giggling at herself. So, <clears throat> right. Um, this one, I think we'll just have the three. So change it up a little. Um, and then I think I want that one. And then, how about, so they're all slightly different. Um, I've lost one. There it is. Right, let's move this. And then, how about we just have the big one? Yeah, do you know what? We'll keep them all so they're different. Right, let me get, take these away. Because, yeah, they're everywhere. Um, right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue these down. I do need my uh, tool for picking it up though. But and what I'm going to do is do some doodling just around these sentiments. Um, and I love the fact that when I do these, they are quite wonky. So there we go. We can pick that one up. There's another one. So even though they've all got the same sentiment, they are all different in their own little ways, which I quite like. So I love this. Okay, and then the last one. some lines of glue on there we are right okay so that's that now I do want my white jelly pen and I do want a black pen as well and then what I'm going to do so we'll start off with the first I just want to go around these with like a little frame so just like that um, and it's just to make them sort of stand out so yeah oh. okay oh, love that right um let's get the jelly pen because i do want to add some detail on so i'm just going to add some lines along the trunk and then oh, i wanted to bring in some nouveau drops so i'll do that in a second and then I'm just going to put some little lines just around the uh, mushroom itself. Um, just to edge that as well. I love that. Oh, how nice is that? Right, okay, so let's do very similar. So we're going to do the same to all of them. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is use different... Um, see what Nouveau drops I've got and then I might use different Nouveau drops on each one so yeah um, so again just putting um, and it, this is just more um, you don't have to do this you can leave it plain um, but I found that I love doodling um, when I'm using Julia's designs I find that the stamps and the papers and stuff they make you want to doodle and they make it so much easier because it doesn't feel like you're going to do it wrong it feel it, it's tempting you in to do that and to make um, your design your own and I think that's another thing that I absolutely love with these stamp sets and the papers is it is inviting you to do stuff that you wouldn't normally sort of think of um, so and making these your own um, 
that's all. Um, and I do feel that when I'm designing with them, with everything that I make, I feel like I have turned it into my own design, which I just love, just absolutely love. Okay, so uh, just along the bottom here, and like I say, we will get some new road drops out because I would like some dimension on these. So, and then again, let's... And you, as you can see, I'm not being precise. Um, the more you try and do straight lines, you're just not going to do it. So just, just do a scribble. Just go for it. Um, you know, don't try and be perfect because at the end of the day, we're not. It's not going to work. The more you try and be perfect, the more you will fail, unfortunately, because we just can't draw a perfect line without a ruler. However, if you try not to be perfect and you just do it, you never know, you might do it. Um, so yeah, okay, there we go. Right, now, um, <coughs> let me go and grab my Nouveau Drops um, and then let's add some Nouveau Drops to the mushrooms. Um, yeah, and then we'll be finished, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. So I've picked out quite a few different ones out of my stash. So I've got red, pink glitter, um, purple glitter. We've got this gorgeous, gorgeous blue. Um, which is Caribbean Ocean. We've got a blue glitter. Um, I've got brown, I've got silver, um, orange. I'm actually tempted to do orange on this one. Um, I think I quite like the idea of that, right? I need a scrap bit of paper um, just to make sure these are working before we go ahead. So all I'm doing is I'm just filling out these just like that. Oh, I love that. Love, love, love. Um, I've got a feeling, yep, a lady's upstairs with Lucy because I can hear her. Come on, get out. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Yeah, I'm loving this. So I'm quite glad that I did it. Okay. It's just adding just that extra texture in to each um, each invitation as well so this colour I'm using um, is uh, ripened pumpkin so that's the colour we've got here um, right just yep there we go and then love that so I'm not going to do the outside ones I'm going to leave them um because I like them the colors so we're just going to do that but how cool does that look so that's what we're going to do I'm not going to do the same color on them all though um I think this one I am going to do um oh let's do the pink glitter because this one's quite pink isn't it so we're going to do the pink glitter on this one so, yeah, there we go. Now, to get the points off Nouveau Drops, the best thing for you to do is, when you've finished, um, is actually tap your work on to the surface and it will flatten out that point. Um, so, yeah, a little tip for you there. I love it. I do need to get some more new road drops, I think, in different colours. I don't actually have the best range of colours. Um, yeah. Okay. So there's that one. I think that one goes perfectly with the design. So I'm just going to. So if you just tap it it gets rid of all of the um the points but oh, how cute oh, i love that right okay um so we've got these two and um, i think i'm going to come in with this caribbean blue and i'm going to do it on this one so let's do the caribbean blue on this one so i need to be careful around this bit there we go 
um, it's so bright I love this colour I don't use it enough um, I think because it's such a bright colour I don't have a lot in my stash either that goes with it which I wish I did because it's just stunning okay nearly there so again just making sure um, I will get rid of those points so I will tap it on the on the surface and that will sort that out um, and then that one I think <laughs> actually I don't know what colour we're going to go with for that one yet um, yeah I'm not sure okay last bit I just think this is perfect for um, a dimension on your card as well. Okay, <coughs> so I'm just going to tap that. There we go. And there is that one. And then the very last one. So um, we do have Blue Lagoon, Lagoon Glitter, which might be nice. Um, Oh, hmm, trying to think. Um, purple, no. I've got this one, which is rose water, um, that dries clear. Um, yeah, we'll go with this one. Well, it's got a slight, a slight colour to it. Um, but yeah, I think this one's probably going to be best. Okay. So again, just filling all of these in. Oh, there's a air bubble in this one okay and you will still be able to see that colour underneath these as well with one when this one is dry so that will be quite nice because uh, this one does dry translucent okay um, nearly nearly done so just making sure I've got plenty on. Last one. There we are. I think that is us done. So there you have it. There is our little invitations that we have made for when we are able to have parties and um, be around people. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? Um, is let's put a brown doorknob on all of them <laughs> just for an extra little touch there we go just had to be done <laughs> just had to be um so yeah so there we have it there is a little idea of what you can do with these gorgeous gorgeous stamps and these gorgeous gorgeous papers um oh, i absolutely love them i think these are so so cute um so yeah thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber um also head over and check out all the other ladies as well that are dealing with these stamps so there is in the collection we do actually have six stamp sets which they're just all gorgeous i mean look at these how beautiful are they so yeah we also have an ephemera pack and we also have the papers as well um so <coughs> i'll leave links to where you can buy them from in the description box as well as links to all the other ladies that are dealing with these because honestly there is just so much inspiration for these um yeah for these for this collection i mean i know a lot of you absolutely love this collection in the digi stamp form when it came out but now it's actually in physical products which is just amazing um so julia did listen to you guys and did do um bring out um actual physical products for it um yeah i'll stop rabbit on now uh, thank you again for watching and hopefully you're all safe and well and we'll see you very soon in my next video until then happy crafting and bye for now bye